everybody and welcome back to another episode of FTB Skies Let's Play where I am waiting on one of these chickens to lay an egg. This one's got about a minute, both of them have about a minute and a half left. So between episodes, something is wriggling for my amethyst, as it always does. Um, so between episodes, I took the liberty of moving around some of my uh power gen stuff so down here we've still got these guys that are cranking away uh they've got about half a stack of coal each uh and they're just feeding these blaze burners but the only problem is that they feed them just about every minute or so it feels like so after a while they eventually do run out uh, i've got this guy my accumulator and my uh, alternator they are doing exactly what they need to be doing they are cranking out power I've got this guy set to max now so he is outputting 360 I tried putting a second one on there but I could only get them each to put out 180 each before it overstressed the system which still equals 360 so there's really no point in putting a second one up there and trying to uh, reconcile with whatever I think potentially if I made another uh, speed rotator uh, I could put it on another arm and it wouldn't stress out that arm and then potentially have two of them putting out 360 but one for right now is okay because what I've done is during the day this guy is going to be off so during the day this guy is accumulating power and he's just doing exactly that he's he's getting power in but it's not going into the system these guys are running constantly uh just as backup reserve and then this guy right here i did eventually make my redstone flux cell he is uh getting power from the daylight sensors and the solar panels during the day then at night when this power goes down from this daylight detector this guy switches on allowing power to flow back into the system so during the day i'm accumulating power with this and i probably am going to upgrade this hardened uh to like the next level up the the um the reinforced because if i do that he'll be able to hold a lot more power uh, because obviously it's only about midday and that one is completely full so I could probably do that pretty quickly as well uh, I've got one egg and the reason I'm getting eggs is because I need a better fuel source for my blaze burners I need a better fuel source than just coal because coal right now is a very finite resource so we are going to switch to blaze cake uh, as our option. So I've got these two guys because eventually in this episode, uh, I'm going to make an egg collector and then I'm going to like probably try to automate sugar cane, which I kind of already have over here in my phytogenic insulator. I've just got it turned off right now because I'm still hurting for power in some situations, uh, especially if I've got all of these machines running. Uh, we're, we're very much hurting for power and then my entire system dies. So that's not good. Uh, but in order to get what we need for Blaze Cake, the last ingredient is... The, so for the blaze cake basin the last one is cinder flour so in order to get cinder flour it needs to be crushed nether rack in the crushing wheels so remember how a few episodes ago we wanted to make these crushing wheels it looks like now we actually have to like there's there's no way around it now so the big thing to start doing is getting all of my stuff to make my crushing wheel if i can spell correctly so that's going to take a lot of andesite alloy uh 
any kind of stone and any kind of planks. So mainly it's the andesite alloy. It takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait here, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, which isn't a lot. And I've got it already uh, made up here is something that I can grab. So I just need like 15 more and that shouldn't take long at all. Literally, bada bing, bada boom. All right, so I needed four planks, which I'm just gonna grab from there. And what was the last thing I needed in the middle was just any kind of stone, I believe. And I've got this now hooked up to my system here. And hopefully it should be, it's not stressing out the system and it's actually relatively quick. So let me see the pattern. So it's three on top, three on bottom. I am gonna let it get night so we can see how my power goes. And if I see any of my system here die, then I know that I'm still very much hurting for power. Uh, so it was three, then it was one, two, plank, one, two. So one, two, one, two, with a plank in the middle. Uh, then I believe it was one plank, stone, another plank, this guy. Then it was one, two, one, two, with a plank and then one two three and if all of that is correct you should very quickly crank out two crusher wheels which should get me a quest reward i believe uh create it gets me a quest but there is no reward for it fantastic so wireless stress I don't know what that is. The machines from Create Ender Transmission allows you to transmit items, fluids, and energy over a distance. Interesting. I wonder if that's just kinetic energy. Uh, craft two of any and set them to the same channel to connect them. So I wonder if that's just the kinetic energy that it sends. But one thing that we don't have right now are Eyes of Ender and we definitely don't have Obsidian or the precision mechanisms. So that's not something I'm gonna super worry about right now. Right now I need to find a place to put my crusher wheels that's not going to be in the way or overstress my system. So now you can see that this guy is off. So during the night, he's going to accumulate power. And then during the day, this one is emitting power so with, with this as a backup system <clears throat> uh this has been pretty good it does drain like i said if i've got a lot of my machines running but right now i don't the only thing that's ever gonna keep running is my magma crucible uh and for some reason he is out of stuff right now because i took uh i took my nether rack out because I was trying to do it with uh, magma blocks. I put a crafter upgrade in here to make magma blocks, but I think I'm hurting for something. So I've got enough slime. I think it's probably blaze. Yeah, it's blaze powder that I'm really hurting for when it comes to that kind of stuff. So let me grab. So just any anytime I notice that I'm running low on blaze powder, uh, I just come over here and throw some dust in my sifters. And that gets me going on that. Eventually we can try to start working on like blaze spawners and like the logistics matrixy and stuff like that. But I'm I'm not gonna super worry about that right now. So now that I've got some blaze dust, he's gonna crank out magma blocks. So the reason I'm doing magma blocks is because it takes less power it takes 40 instead of 60 and it's not cheaper per se because obviously I have to wait for uh, the blaze powder to come up 
and then eventually I also need to keep throwing sand in here for slime balls but it it's not impossible to get for relatively cheap so while I'm at it let me just go ahead and do that and try to crank out some more slime balls because I've, I've got this right now set up to basically just start cranking out infinite uh, my cobble works I this I put here so I could request it because I was running into an issue where even though these were filling up they weren't uh, their void upgrades weren't working and I don't know why I took the void off of upgrade off of you because I can take this off because there's no way that I'm ever gonna hit 50k nether rack um, so I'm going to take you and put you back on dust. I need to start working on obsidian generation as well. I know that I can get it from, uh, the blaze mesh up in my, uh, purified daisy up top, <coughs> but for right now, it's really not something that I can do all the time. So I do need one more void upgrade that I can put on my, um, this guy. So I'm gonna take you off and I'm gonna put you here. And then I'm actually going to change these back to exporters. If I have any right now, let me take care of this stupid endermite right now. I wish you dropped ender pearls. Or eyes of ender, whichever one I need. All right, so slowly getting more eggs. Like I said, eventually I'm actually going to put them in something that will just collect their eggs for me. I'm thinking just a hopper, just chickens on top of a hopper. I'm not going to do any kind of like food processing, but I am just going to chicken on a hopper, export into the system. Like that's, that's the easiest way to do it. Uh, why was I here? What was I getting? exporters I need at least three which I should have enough stuff to make it is gonna take a minute uh, I am running into an issue as well where this um, the way that I've got this set up is that it's auto crafting and processing all of my dust so I do have to come in here and watch it and make sure that it does process exactly what I need. And as long as nothing else comes up in that system, we're fine. So I do probably need to make another redstone furnace that is just dedicated to crafting. So there's my two exporters. What are we waiting on? You're waiting on another basic processor, which means I need to come over here and take you out. That should be my last basic processor. And then I can turn you off because you are one of the things that chokes out my power. See? I knew it was going to happen. Uh, and then when that does happen, I usually just come over here and grab some coal that I don't have. Uh, so that means that we need to grab some gravel. Eventually, I do want to switch to mechanism power. I do have a lot of uranium that I can start working on that will eventually just get me into actual power stuff. Uh, so you should start backing up as soon as you get coal. I love it how off camera this has all kind of been running perfectly. But the moment I start recording, it's like everything is just like, no, we need to drain power now. We, we, we all need we all need resources we all need energy we all need whatever um because truly like it, it has been okay so this guy is going and uh, like on occasion i can come over here and if i need just backup power i can just turn him off like that so we're good i just wish that i didn't have to do that exporter so one more right here i'm gonna take this crafter out I'm going to put these guys back right here. And then I've been having like one export uh, cobblestone. Uh, 
uh, this one will do s gravel. And this one will do sand. And that's kind of how I've been doing it. The only problem is though, is that because this has that void upgrade, eventually once it backstuffs on all of them, it's it's always just gonna keep voiding dust. So I guess a way around that would be to take my void upgrades out of all of these. The only problem then is that it backs up into the system, but it shouldn't back up into the system. So maybe if I just void cobblestone for now, it's not gonna back up anything because it'll pull from this. Eventually that'll fill up. That might be what I do. And then I'll put uh, like diamond upgrades on these guys. So let me do that. So let me find all of my diamond upgrades. And I'll put you here, here. And I know I have one more somewhere else. And here. So that way these guys can still get up to, what, out of 50K. So if I ever hit 50K and it starts backing up my system, we've, we've got bigger fish to fry. So I need to come back around here and tell you guys to extract, which you should already be, or not extract, but like import back into the system. And I had speed upgrades on those guys, but I took them out. So can I potentially, and I'm also now that I'm generating power in the day again, I'm gonna set you to how you were. So you should still be extracting power soon. Soonish. Did I mess something up? Because now you should be unpowered, correct? So you're on when powered. Oh, okay, on. So that means you are extracting. Okay, yeah, you just lost power. Okay, cool. So yeah, hopefully this is good. Can I grab a few like stack upgrades? I have one. Can I grab two more? I can't because this is going to need this for a minute. I love it how I was like, we're gonna make blaze cakes. And now it's, it's just more of me like, hey, I need to fix all of my problems. Right, so when, when all of this finishes processing I'll come back and hopefully start working towards blaze cakes I need to find a place to put my crusher wheels and that'll be the step that we need to take all right so I've decided to put my crusher wheels on this side mainly for the purpose of I have access to my refined storage system right here so anything that comes out of the crusher wheel, I can very quickly just export back into the system. So I think here and here, but they need to be like spinning in a certain direction and like rotating opposite each other. It's, it's weird how these things need to be laid out. So that is one thing that I didn't think about when I started deciding where I was gonna put them. But I am going to probably make another steam engine and bring it out here. Cause I, well, I can try. I, I think it might overstress my system and I'm gonna end up having to like reduce my output on that guy. But I can try it for now. So I just need let me see what all I have from create. Uh, so I can grab a cog wheel just in case. I can grab these just in case. I'm definitely gonna need a shoot of some kind. Uh, some gearboxes. 
probably some of my belts. And that should be it. I'm also going to need another importer, which luckily I have. I don't have to sit through the process of making one. And maybe like a chest of some kind. Or a... Yeah, probably just a chest. It doesn't have to be big, because it just has to be enough to hold some cinder flour in. Alright, so you... lined up here so maybe I should move these over one to like here so that way you're lined up with this so that way I don't have to route pipes in any weird way so let me put you here which means you need to come over one to here. So that way I can just put my chest here, my chute here, and my importer here, and just a single cable right there. So that way anything that goes into this chest will automatically just get sucked into the system and the only thing really that should be going in here is cinder flour. So, for now at least. Um, so I do think I want to make another steam engine. So a steam engine just needs one andesite alloy. everything else I need for that so we're good you need to go I'm gonna say here which overstresses my system already fantastic okay so maybe I'm gonna try and pull off of you if I can so let me grab like a vertical gearbox here some shafts going up You both probably need like gearboxes or shafts coming off of you. So what if instead I did that and had the energy coming off this way? Or hear me out. We put two gearboxes. One here, one here. Make sure they are Make sure they are facing each other. I think you okay, there we go. So then you can do that. I probably need another gearbox here. On the shaft. Is there a way that I can rotate you? Yeah, but now for one, you don't have any way of getting to this guy, and for two, you are now overstressing my system again. Which is stressing me out. Okay. So this is saying it might need to go bigger. And it needs more heat, which is what we're trying to work on. So, all right, let me get the basis of this working. So are you connected right there? No, you are not. I need you to be connected there. So maybe do you need to be like a vertical or I just bring a pi a shaft there. Uh, 
And then another gearbox here. Are you connected? You are. But I think the problem now is that they're both going to be rotating in the same direction, potentially. So what if I brought you out here? Put you there. I'll get rid of you. And we connected a belt. Right there. They are spinning, but they are spinning up. I think I need them both spinning down, which means I probably need another gearbox somewhere to alternate the rotation on that. Which means I might need to just push the whole system back one more block so I can put my shaft here and connect you to that. Yeah, let me let me let me try that. And just because I don't want to have to worry about getting more in or uh, what do you call that stuff? Cobblestone. I'm just gonna put you here, you here for now, and then I'll just delete that uh, end stone. So we'll take you out, put you back directly under, put the chute directly on top, and then I'll just move this out one. So you're importing from there and then to here. These gearboxes need to be moved one block this way. Shaft in the middle. We need to come out to here. You can go away. And then we do that. And you're both spinning downwards. Fantastic. All right, so now let me get rid of that, which probably fell into the crushing wheel. Or some of it may have. Is my system down? Nope, okay. So now, for the grand finale, I need to take some crushed netherrack. And I need to drop it in here. And you are getting crushed into hopefully cinder flower. Cinderflower, sweet. All right, that works. So now I just need egg production, which is going okay. You are gonna get a crafter that is gonna be told to make um, the whatchamacallits, the basins, not, not the, the blaze cake base. So you are going to get that and you are going to be taught how to make that. So let me see if that even works. And I'm also probably going to need another like exporter of some kind. So let me do a blaze cake base. I have one. Let me start the process on another. All right, you just also need to be able to extract because crafters for some reason can't do that. I don't know why. Um, what if instead I put an interface because an interface can import and export and I can just put a crafting card on it. Because then something else is going to need to request making the blaze stuff. Because eventually I'm going to need the squeezer, which is going to put um, 
lava in it. So let me just do this for now. Grab another exporter. Which means I gotta go through this process again. I'm really surprised that my system didn't die. I think it just did. I think I watched it. I think I think I saw it blink for half a second. So now let me see if my exporter is done. So you're going to export from there. I need more cable. And see, now my system is dead. Because of you. Actually, it's, it's because of me. I know it's my fault. So I, I need to also put netherrack, or was it cobblestone? I think it was netherrack. I need to put netherrack back in here so you can keep producing lava, even though it's more expensive to do it that way. I, I, need, I need the lava more than I need the power gen, which is kind of a lie, but I, I need the lava. I need the lava for the power gen. So what was my next step was making more cables or just getting more cables. So I can put you here and you should be exporting. Can you only export from like the bottom or something? Let me try that. I'm about to kill this pickaxe. All right, so can I I hate that thing. So I need to put you one farther down. So I need to be... Nope. I need to put you underneath this guy. So I can come down here. And I can exporter you. And I'm trapped in a hole of my own making. All right. So out here, now can you export? Because you need to be an importer. I keep getting those mixed up. I'm sure someone in the comments has been yelling at me saying, you need an importer, not an exporter. I know. More crafting. All right, I've got my importer, then now I can just pop here, and that should pull out, yeah, okay. I know, export comes out of the system, import goes from something into the system. I know that. I, however, just forget sometimes. <laughs> All right, so now we just need to make a squeezer, which shouldn't be too expensive. I already have the thing here, perfect. So spout, so this needs to go over a depot, I believe. So I need a depot, which just needs more andesite alloy. So a depot, where can it sit? In theory, I could put my crafter here, but I'm not going to. Um, I wonder if I could put the spout above this. Like, I don't think sitting on this would hurt it. So let me try this. Let me put a spout there. Because I do have this crafter here that I was going to use to make like soul sand, but maybe I can also use this crafter to make the blaze. K 
cake that I need. Maybe. Because this is going to need an exporter. See, I got it right that time. You're going to need an exporter for lava. So put you in fluids mode. For lava. Which... Not sure how much I'm hurting for lava right now. I probably am. Big time. Because you're going to have to like refill everything that I took out. So once that gets full, we'll be back stuffed on lava. Which will then start going into this guy. So I do need like another few cables. Which I think anytime I make an importer and an exporter, it just makes extra cable for me, which is fine. All right, so you go here. So now for blaze cakes, I just need to tell it. So for a blaze cake, I just need to tell it that it doesn't need lava. do that so if I just say you equals you and then I put you in here and then I also just wanted for sake of argument just say uh, sand so so one piece of sand equals soul sand and I can put you in there as well and these guys I can probably clear because I'm not going to do the crafting like I did before which means I can just put you back in here perfect so let me put you back and then let me see if I can just craft a blaze cake. I can, and I did. And you just need an importer on you, which means some more crafting stuff. I'll do that part off camera. You know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna connect an importer from here to that crafter and then be done. So sweet, we have blaze cake now. I just need the ability to probably put a crafter card on this guy and just say make me blaze cakes so like if i take this out i put a crafter card in you and i put you there eventually it'll start hopefully cranking out some blaze cake i think that's how that works i'm gonna play with that a little bit more off camera as well i think it just obviously needs so you're full so I think it probably just needs like the cinder flour, the eggs. So I, I'm i gonna make an egg farm. All it's gonna be is chickens on top of a hopper feeding into my system. You don't need to see that. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Hopefully now that I'm making the blaze cakes, this will power up even more and I can get faster system going and not be so hurting on power. So see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.